Good morning. This is English for section eighty-eight, unit two, writing, writing a narrative essay. That is on page one hundred eleven. Writing a narrative essay. An essay is a piece of writing that has more than two paragraphs. A narrative essay describes a personal experience and includes three important parts: an introductory paragraph, the body paragraphs, and a concluding statement. The introductory paragraph gives necessary background information and gives the main idea of the essay. In a narrative essay, the introductory paragraph describes why this is an important or memorable story for the writer, and perhaps what the writer learned from the experience. The body of a narrative essay includes one to three paragraphs that describe the events, including interesting details such as facts, examples, or an explanation to support. The main idea of the essay. The concluding statement of a narrative essay restates the main idea and summarizes why the story is an important one for the writer. Tips for success: Use narrative writing when you need to describe something. That happened in your life. It can be used on many types of applications, such as for schools and jobs. Okay, again, essay is a piece of writing that has more than two paragraphs. Okay, how about a narrative essay? It describes a personal experience and includes three important parts. Okay, so what are three important parts? We still have the IBC technique, the IBC pattern. Okay, you have the introductory paragraph, you have the body paragraphs, and we have the concluding statement. Okay, what is in the introductory paragraph? It describes why this is an important, okay, or memorable story. And then, what did you learn from the experience? Okay, so the introductory paragraph is the main idea. Okay, two, we have body paragraphs, one to three paragraphs that describe the events. So you need to write one, two, or three paragraphs for the body. And that one describes the events. It adds also interesting details, such as uh, facts, examples, or explanation, to support your main idea of the essay. Again, where is your main idea from here? From an introductory paragraph. And the concluding statement it restates the main idea and summarizes. Why this story is an important one for you? So restate, you state, or you write again about your main idea. Okay, about the intro, and then you give a summary why the story is very important for you. Read the example of our narrative essay. The title is the second line. That is on page one hundred and thirteen. Please pause the video. Answer the questions. One, where does the writer give background information? Put a check mark 
next to it. Okay, we have you. This is the first paragraph. Okay. And this is the second paragraph. And we have the third paragraph. Let's go back to the question. Okay, where does the writer give background information? Where is the background information? It? Okay, it's here. It's on the first paragraph. So we can put a tick mark here. Okay, question number two. Which sentence in the introductory paragraph includes the main idea of the narrative write it below so the sentence in the introductory paragraph that includes the main idea okay let's go back here so the answer is great after a few months after the half dual climb, I've decided to climb Mount Whitney in California. Let me do that again. Okay, here. It's not really that easy to use a mouse. Anyway, okay, that's it. So you have to get the sentence. Got the sentence. Okay, here and write. Okay, again, the main idea is a few months after the half doom climb, I decided to climb Mount Whitney in California. Okay, question number three. How many body paragraphs does the writer include? Mark the body paragraphs with brackets. So, okay, this is the intro. Okay, this is the body. So, how many do we have here? We only have one. Okay, one. Here. So, you add brackets to here. You have many healthy people like for high fitness in two days. Some even managed to go up and down the same day. We took three days. We wanted to make it to the summit and back safely. On the third day of our trip at half past two, we all gathered under spectacular blue sky to walk the final steps to the geographical marker, identifying the summit, the highest point on the continental United States. Okay, question number four. What details does the writer include that help make the narrative interesting? Underline them. So, where can we find the details? Okay, we can find them in intro, buddy, or concluding paragraph. Okay, of course, that is in the buddy. Here, somewhere here. Let's check the answers. So we have, oops, okay, we have Tolles Mountain in the continental US. Get bigger. And we also have spectacular blue sky, final steps, ge geographical marker identifying the summit and highest point on the continental United States. Okay, it's here. Okay. Final steps. 
Master Geographical Marker identifying the summit, the highest point on the continental United States. Okay, so what make these sentences interesting? Okay, of course, because you have here, you have adjectives. Final. Okay, you have highest. That's it. So let's go to question number five. Which sentence in the concluding paragraph explains why the story is important to the writer? Write it below. Okay, so we have we have to look for a sentence. Okay, where in the concluding paragraph? And you would know why the story is important to the writer. Okay, here. Yes, so that is, I had made it to the peak this time with a second heart and my husband. Okay, and also you will understand why the title is the second line. So write the sentence here. Not the answer to question number five. Write a narrative essay outline in which you describe time you took a risk. Here. And then think of some risk that you've taken. They can be small or big risk. Choose one of those risks and write an outline of your ideas. So for number one or your introductory paragraph, write the risk that you took. And then you provide some information or some background information. And then you write a sentence explaining why this risk is important to you. So that basically is about your intro paragraph. Okay, as for the body paragraph, you need to write two here. Okay, for the paragraph one, briefly write the events of the story and include details. Here, events and details. For body paragraph 2, continue with the events of the story and include details. So maybe in one you can write one or two events and another one or two events for paragraph 2. And for the concluding statement, briefly restate the risk that you took. So this is from the introductory paragraph, right? And then summarize why this was important for you. So this is how will your essay look like. Okay, when we talk about uh, structure. Okay, first you have the title and your intro here, your body and your concluding paragraph. So for the intro, it's here, the main idea, and then your paragraph one, or body paragraph one, here, including the events and details, and paragraph two, here. Okay, the concluding paragraph is here, but your concluding statement, and uh, you restating the main idea from the intro and your summary. Okay, so here are some techniques of writing a good narrative essay. Of course, you focus on interesting event, okay, that you have to write or that you want to write and then you add more description and more details 
Of course, you also have to add dash of drama, problems, and decisions. And finally, adjectives, adjectives, and more adjectives. So if you have questions about the writing, then you can just DM me on Facebook. Okay, you can find my profile with uh, EMC Facebook and also with John A's Facebook. And please uh, pass your narrative essay writing when the class resumes. So hopefully that will be next week. Have a nice day everyone and thank you for watching the video. Thank you.